guys and welcome to another video now this one i just wanted to have some fun use some danessa Myers products and some flowers to create this flower lash look so first we're going to use the danessa Myers number four and i'm going to pop that all over the lid And after that, because I ended up being a little pale, I mixed in a little bit of the nude number six. So it's like a my skin tone kind of a concoction to blank out the lid space. Because remember, I'm doing a detailed liner look, so I'm not really adding much colored shadow onto the lid. going in and doing the complexion just because i'm doing liner so i'm not doing any shadow work so it's going to be easier so i just decided to go in and do my foundation and some concealer before i did the liner now we're going to grab the color fix and lift which is the white color and i'm using it to line starting a quarter or two-thirds of the way in and creating a semi-thick line by the lash line and just going back over to intensify the color just so it looks more stark white than faded white. Don't mind my mumbling, I was singing a song to myself as I concentrated to create this line. <laughs> Went on into the other side as well. Then I'm going to kind of create this abstract shape following the natural curve of the inner corner of my eye with the same white. Kind of playing around with the shape. Gonna move into the black, which is called black out, and use that to create a very tight line as close to the lash line as you can. And it's my first time using the Smith, I think it's a 202 brush, don't quote me, but it's a Smith skinny liner brush. And the stiffness of the hairs and how short it is made it perfect to create a very tight line at my lashes. Next, you know, funging it up with these abstract shapes. So kind of creating a wing liner that does not connect to the crease. So floating lines, if you will. And then I used to do this a lot when I was working in Mac. I used to do random dots throughout my eye. So we're going to bring it back for a little bit. So random dots, two dots on the inner corner. Going with a little bit concealer. I'm es it's escaping me which concealer I used. I think I used the Dior concealer this day. 
I'm like interchanging between the Dior, the Pat McGrath, and the Shiseido just to see which one I like the best. But I can't pick favorite. I just, I cannot. Then we're going to blend out using the Vanessa Myricks Contour Balm in the shade Medium 2, I believe I used to say. Gonna go in with that palette and I mixed Flamingo, Fruit Cocktail, and Mango. So it's the baby pink, the hot pink, and the orange to create a very soft blush. And I kind of mix the colors, dab them each on the brush, you know, dabbed, and then mix them on the back of my palm like so. And it created this really pretty soft lip from within tone. That blended very nicely, so I was 100% surprised and shocked and glad I got this product. <laughs> Gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Powders. Fill in thy brows. Doing a little powder. I believe I was just using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder here. I feel it's the same as the original, but because it's tinted yellow, works a little bit for my better for my complexion, you know. Grabbing the same blackout on the same Smith Cosmetic Brush and kind of creating I'm lining my lower lash line but creating a gap. So I'm leaving a gap and then creating a lower lash line line that hugs the entire curve of my lower lash line. So get not directly under where the lower lashes start, creating a gap and then creating a line. So it kind of opens the eye underneath. Popping some mascaras on the top and bottom. We're gonna grab the black out one more time and we're gonna use it as lippy stick for this. So I did find that you have to put at least two coats just to make it super opaque black. And after this, I believe I went into the good part, which was the lashes. So I purchased dried flowers that they normally use for nail art. And I use that for, excuse my head turning. I thought I cut that out, but I tend to watch TV when I'm doing my makeup. And sometimes something shocks me on TV. I'm just like, what? I gotta look at it. Versus it just being in the background. So excuse that. But for the lashes, I purchased the dried flowers that they normally use for nail art off Amazon. Bought a few packs with different colors and shade range. And today I was just feeling it white and blue, you know? And what I did, I basically did this on a magazine shoot that's not out yet. Hopefully it will be releasing soon for Afropolitan Magazine. But what I did was I took the Ardell individuals. And I used the individual Ardell lashes that don't have the ball on it. Because I don't... It's not my favorite. But the ones that have the thinner strip or it looks like you just cut a complete lash into individual so i feel like that one blends the best when you're doing individual lashes so i took an individual strip of a lash put some glue on it and then adhered the flower petal to that lash and then i was able to put it on like i normally would add some glue to the bottom of the lash and then stick it on to your lashes so at first i was using the tweezer but then because of how much glue i had to put on the flower and the lash the glue was sticking on to the tweezer. So opted just for hands, same thing. Popped it in place, it then kind of squeezed it into my lash just to get it to so there's no gaps. And I used the back of the tweezer to help me further move it into position. And so I put one white flower leaf on each side and the blue. And I thought that this was so fun and cute, you know, something different, you know, just a little different. I 
and see I'm doing my happy dance. Now I put both lashes on and I went in with a little bit of the Dew Wet Balm. Just because I was feeling this product this week. Like I forgot how good of a glow it gives. So it gives you a glow. But it's not greasy. It's just the perfect amount of shine. But it's colorless. So it doesn't disturb the product you have underneath. Then I took just a skinny brush just to apply. I believe this is crazy for you. The Nessa Marks Twin Flames. Yes, it's crazy for you. So it's like an iridescent green and good. And I just wanted to play with another color. Because I used this on the last tutorial. And I put it on top of a black. So I want to see it on top of like a neutral base so i just popped it on the inner corner of both eyes and it just gave me a little something extra you know a little something something on this space i just like the reflection that it gives And that was pretty much the look I kind of posed for you guys without the gloss. And then I said, what would it look like if I put on some of the clear lip glass? So Danessa Myers has one of my favorites, which is the clear glaze that you can put on eyes, on lips, on cheekbones as a highlight. And I used to put that as a highlight before I got the Dew Wet Balm. Oh, catch that glow, guys. Catch that glow. So I just put a, basically use that on top of the lip just to make it a shiny black lip. And it doesn't disturb any product you have underneath it, which is why it's my go-to product for a glossy eye look as well. So stay tuned to see how that looks. And I thank you guys for tuning into this tutorial let me know if you guys try this out because this was a really fun and funky look for me and brought out my creative side again because you know <laughs> this year's been kind of a drag so <laughs> was excited to kind of play around with makeup again and i have more images of this look on my instagram same name as this youtube channel beauty by miss jesse so feel free to head over there i pretty much post more often during the week on that Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peacey, peacey.